It's been there since the foundation of the world, reshaping man's thoughts and ideas of life and redirecting man's pursuit in life to fit its agenda. It's a matter of disguise, working through men endlessly, using every way to hinder the advancement of the kingdom of God. It's mammon, the spirit behind money, Charles and Susan Opio in their book Unmasking Mammon help their readers unmask this deadly spirit and embark on a journey back to the Father. Unmasking Mammon is a must read. Now available on Amazon and on order at cyruscom254 at gmail.com for physical copies. Grab your copy today and start off your journey to overcoming the spirit of Mammon. Unmasking Mammon by Charles and Susan Opio. Hello and welcome to the Cyrus community. This is Business Unusual. We continue with our conversation, Prophetic Alignment 2024 and beyond. We've been looking at Luke chapter 10 verse 2, yes. where we're talking about pray to the Lord of the harvest to send workers because the harvest is plenty but the workers are few and in this season when you're talking about alignment we are saying that they are the sent ones who must be aligned and then those who they are sent to must also be aligned and knowing who has been sent to equip them now last conversation we look at matthew chapter 10 yes verse, two, verse 1 2 and on the principle was this we look at how jesus has a in his own model for that term called lord of the harvest and he practically did it himself. And what we saw is that first he calls you to himself. Mm -hmm. Then he empowers you. Then he instructs you. Then he sends you. Mm -hmm. Please never miss that progression. Because breaking any pattern of that progression will cause the issue we want to deal with today. Even though we focused a lot on what that sending now means. Mm -hmm. But if that progression was not completely calibrated properly, you'll end up being a sent one who is not clear about who called you. So let's, let's look at how this then plays out. There are certain symptoms or activities or things you'll begin to notice in your own context if you're not clear about he who called you, he who sent you and where he sent you. You'll begin to question your own validity and even your authority. And sometimes when we question our validity and our authority, we now have no confidence as you're standing up to speak, you're not so sure that what I'm saying, is it really from him or is it from me? Mm. Is it from my memory? Mm. Is it something I learned? Mm. Is it something I had? Suddenly, the confidence, remember we spoke in the last conversation, and if you haven't watched it, please do, yes. about having that sure, authorized, confident mm. clarity that you've been sent and being so confident in what you're doing that you are sure of yourself so the first thing if you if you question your validity yes. and authority yes you're already diluting your message exactly because as you stand to declare yes even your own mind is telling you stop you're not even sure yes. that declaration will come to pass exactly and that's why sometimes when you tell people listen in this year i know god is saying that he's going to establish you yes. in the marketplace but inside exactly. you something is asking you are you valid there you go are you authorized yes what are you saying and, and you see what that does to you that begins to cause you to minister in a very interesting way. Mm. You will not have passion. Mm. You will not have conviction. Wow. You will not be certain. And let me tell you how that plays out. You begin to find that you're defensive. You begin to find that well, when a question comes concerning what you're, you're saying, you want to defend yourself, not defend the truth. Mm. Mm. Okay, wait. <laughs> there is where you defend the word that yes. you're speaking because you know it is you're the truth. sure and there's a place where you defend you you defend yourself and that's why sometimes also you get offended that people yes. are attacking me instead exactly. of saying they're attacking the truth exactly okay please explain because that. you're not certain yeah. so for example say we are not sure about our call and we're not sure about the issue of the power to produce wealth and we're not sure at all if this is what god wants maybe it was a good idea suddenly we don't think we are what we are saying is valid we don't think we have the authority to say it. So you find yourself either um, defending everything you're saying. So when you say something, you say, but listen, stop attacking me. Whether you accept this or not, this is the truth. No, <laughs> truth stands alone. Truth does not require 
anybody to defend it. So if I start defending the truth yes. and defending myself, yes. it's already a sign that I've divorced myself from exactly. that relationship with my father. Yes. There is a confidence I don't have because yes. I know I'm not from him. Remember what you said in our last conversation, that in this season we are saying that the Joshua mentality is where we come from God to the people, not from the people to God. That's it. So when I come from God to the people, I'm coming carrying a solution and I'm so confident that yes. this is what God has told me yes. and I know this truth when it hits the earth it will reconfigure everything exactly. and make it or return it to the order that God intended yes. so when I'm not sure of my self yes. and the one who sent me yes. then I come questioning uh, everything uh, let me tell you you begin yeah? to lack conviction okay like I said you begin mm -hmm. to lack to lack passion yes and certainty and it's like a frequency people mm -hmm. can pick it Please explain. First of all, before you go to the frequency, talk about lacking uh, passion, yes. conviction. If you want to know, yeah. lacking passion and conviction, mm -hmm. on your own, mm -hmm. do you believe what you're saying? Mm -hmm. If you find us at mm -hmm. home, do you find us having, do, do we have conversations that we are so passionate about what we are teaching that we are not even wondering why aren't people getting it? Or, we are sure. or at home, are we sitting here talking something else, yes. yet we are convincing you to do one thing? Exactly. For example, when you talk about go to the market space, yes. do we believe it that we are also in our market space? Exactly. Or we are telling you, but we are not convinced Absolutely. of it? Yes. And then the passion. Yes. So, do we come on air to convince you, hmm. hoping you will believe, hmm. or do we believe and we speak even if you don't? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Even if nobody listens, nobody picks it up, nobody says, listen, I'm carrying this truth with exactly. me. Exactly. I will still believe it. Exactly. Where we sit on the basis of certain foundational things that we, if you've come to CC, to CC the first time you'll hear us telling you, mm -hmm. we first lead you back to God. Why? Because the Bible says, if you don't believe that he is, mm -hmm. and that is a reward of those seek him, we've already lost. Mm -hmm. If you don't even believe that God exists, yes. have you ever had that conversation with yourself? Does God really exist not what you've been taught yes. not what you read not out my of conviction fear. my Do own belief my own certainty all right is it something that i'm willing to live for as a truth there's another question we always ask on yes. that based on that yes do you believe god knows you exactly no don't just say yes because he is the creator mm -hmm. he's the one who created me stop all that okay have you ever sat down with yourself and said wait <laughs> has god even known me Really, like, do I believe God knows me? When you say that he's, do I matter? That your name is written on the palm of his hand. Do I really matter? Do I believe it? Where I am today, do, does God even know? Does he care? Do I matter in his plan? Why? One day we have to sit down and yes. say, wait a minute. What, okay. You know, when you look at your life and say, wait, can we first of all go talk and understand? True. This God, does is he even know, know us? And, and, and as we begin this teaching and truth that we say we've been sent with, yes. do we believe it? Mm, mm. Are we convinced? Do we have conviction that it's God's intent for us to walk in the power to create wealth? Yes. Or do we think that's a good message for us to have a ministry as a career? Another question. When God comes and opens our eyes, yes. that all I want you to do is your 10. I do you will believe do the it? 90. Do you believe it? Because all we do for us, we'll now tell you what some of our secrets. <laughs> Whenever we see the word of God open, the seal broken, we sit with it. We question, we pray, we muse, we look at it from every dimension exactly. and say, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me if I do my 10, God will do, God will do his name. Do you know that thing? We are so, so, so exactly. sure of it. And before we speak to you, we always see yes. it happen in our lives. So, so, so the yeah. first thing, sorry, let me say this again. The first thing we do, we go back and look. When we say David, for example, yes. we go and look at the life of David. Yes. And we watch and say, wait, David just needed to do his 10. We look for the, the patterns. 90. So for us to, by the time we're coming to speak to you, it's not a message to us. It's a conviction. It's we life. Collect, it's we collect truth. evidence. Yeah. We collect patterns. Yes. We look, we reach the place of before I tell you, I believe it. Mm. If I don't believe it, I wouldn't tell you. So talk about being passionate <laughs> on the truth. Because <laughs> we've seen it work. Yes. We know God is true. Exactly. We know his word is true. We know we live by his word. I mean, that is called conviction. And yes. that's what you're talking about. Yeah. We are totally convinced. Exactly. We are passionate. Yes. And by the way, we are certain that this is the truth. And God will back his word. And, and, and if you're not sure of who sent you, mm. and where he sent you, yes. and how he sent you, you can't get passion. You mm. can't get conviction. Mm. You can't be certain mm. of anything. 
you yourself could change your mind on a matter. Mm. You'd be preaching A and next time. Sometimes we go back to our messages. Yes. Two, three, four, five years ago. Mm. And we ask, are we still on the same course? Do we still believe what we said there? Yes. And if for any reason we find that something there was not complete, we adjust it. Mm. But we want to check the pathway. Have we remained consistent? Yes. Do we still believe this how we are sent? And is there evidence? Remember we said power manifests in your place of calling. Yes. Do we have proof? Mm. And the more proof you have, the more certain you become, the more convicted you become. Mm. That's the difference. So when you're talking about a sent one, this yes. is the kind of person we are saying yes. that when you know that he has called you, you've gone to him, you know the one who sent me, my friend. Yes. I know that the word he gave me yes. will come to pass. Yeah. Will come to and, pass. And Paul put it this way, for I know whom oh. I have believed. Yes. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, I am persuaded mm -hmm. that he is able. I have believed. Yes. I am persuaded that he is able to do that which he has committed mm. and to me against whatever day. So whatever you're saying situation. that to ascend one now, yes. go back and ask yourself, yeah. can we go through the process again? Yes. Has Jesus called you? Yeah. Are you sure that the word, the creator, the heavens, Want you to do something in the earth? There Are you, you called? Now, have you gone back to him? Yes. You know when you're sitting by, when you always well, say, go to the boardroom. Absolutely. Have a meeting yes. with yourself. Be clear yes. of what you are called to do. Absolutely. You know. If you're not sure of this, mm -hmm. you will operate outside of your jurisdiction. Mm. Now here's the problem. Okay. Each of us has an allotted spiritual sphere, a jurisdiction. He said to them, go to the household of Israel. Mm -hmm. they were, we talked about it in the last conversation. Okay. But power is exercised mm. in the sphere in which you are sent. Now here's the problem. If you're not clear, mm. you will end up entering other spheres. Mm. And you will prove to yourself you are not sent. The problem is not your message. Mm. The problem is not what you're saying. The problem is where you're operating. So there's somebody who is in a place, for example, they were sent to the household of yes. Israel. Yes. If they go to the Gentiles, exactly. there will be no manifestation. And somebody will keep wondering, okay, let me ask you. One thing I know for sure, I love God. Yes. You know there's some people who know they don't love God. Yes. They love the hand of God. Yes. There are some people like David, I'm after his exactly. heart. Exactly. With his heart, his hand will come, all right? But there are some people who are sure. Yeah. Listen, I'm in ministry for his That's hand. It. Stop all these other stories you're That's telling it. me. If I can get his hand, I'm fine, okay? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you know you're after the heart of God, yes. and this heart of God, you're like, things are not working. Exactly. And somebody has been telling you, wait, and uh, wait for the uh, appointed time of the Father. A time comes to say, listen, on the yes. sending, when yes. you're sent to the harvest, yes. the harvest is ready. Listen, That's what we're talking about. And the term appointed is yeah. a date. Mm. It has a point. Mm. It has a place of meeting it. Yes. There must be a journey to it. Mm. Even if I'm waiting for the appointed time, I am working towards, towards. the appointed time. Okay. I'm not doing nothing. Mm. Or, or if you're going through the wilderness to the promised land, yes. between here and there, you can see water. There you you can see the cloud, yes. you can see the pillar, you can see manifestations yes. as you're going, even though not the fullness of, exactly. of the land. Okay, exactly. but if you're in a place where listen, this is just the sun that is just so hot on me, yes, I can sit here. I've been, you know, when you talk about the sun, will spite you exactly. Now, that's not what you're talking yeah. about. So, that kind of a person should know, wait yes. a minute, where are you? That's it. And then in the last conversation, we discussed Peter and Paul, yes, being clear about what Peter would say, Paul would say clearly. Mm. I am an apostle of the Gentiles. Confidence, mm. clarity, insight. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And if you if, if you are not sure of who sent you, we're dealing with sent ones who are not sure mm. of who sent them or how they are sent. Mm -hmm. In other words, sent ones who are not prophetically aligned. Mm. These are some of the symptoms you should look out for and correct. Okay. Another one would be you'll be yielding too easily to the um, temptation of mimicking other people's success. Mm. Mm, okay. how, how do you guys do ministry? I'm coming to learn. No, don't come and learn how I do ministry. Mm. Come and learn who sent me. Okay, wait. <laughs> so if I come to you and say, yes. how do you run your this department? Oh. Don't. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Don't. Mm. Paul could not come and say, Peter, how do I handle Gentiles? Peter would have misled him. Mm -hmm. Peter could not ask Paul, how do I work with, 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 with the Jews? Paul would have misled it. So you're saying here that if I come to you 
yes. are not coming to learn how you're doing your no. calling, you, how you operate in your jurisdiction. No. You are coming. I'm coming to you to say, listen. Yes. Teach me yes. how to hear the one who sent you. How do you hear me? the one who sent you? Mm. Mm. How That's do you powerful. hear the one who sent you? When, 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 when uh, in a field of farmers, the sowers, the reapers, that's why they are different, sowers, reapers, mm -hmm. the cultivators do not ask each other for advice. Mm. They make sure each other is doing the right thing so they can do theirs. I just mm. need to know. If you're supposed to come before me, I will make sure you come before me. Yes. I'll come after you. Mm. I have the wisdom to know in this matter. It is you who should lead. You know, we, we, we've heard people say yes. that when John the Baptist came, he said, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And people say when Jesus came, mm. he knew that was his spiritual father, the one who, who assigned him into ministry, and he also came with the same message like his father, Lee said. No, when Jesus said, repent, for the kingdom, he was telling you, repent yes. what John has taught him. In fact, yes. In fact, he went on to say something more interesting. Yeah. Since the days of John. I Mean, Distinguish. Like, he was not separate. echoing John. No. He was simply saying, listen. It has moved again. Repent. The kingdom has moved. So again. He could not have gone to John to say, okay, teach me how to baptize no. people. In fact, you didn't see him At baptize all. anyone. He never followed John. Yeah. He went on. Yeah. This is the principle. Mm. So we must understand this. That my job is not to find out because if I measure my success with yours, mm. I have missed God. Wow. Wow. If God called me to raise ten mighty men, mm, mm. and I raise a thousand captains. Wow. I missed God. Mm, mm. God called you to raise mighty men. You're busy copying somebody else who is raising captains. captains. And I'm learning the model and I'm getting it right. Mm. You've already messed up. Wow. You've changed jurisdiction. Mm. That's why I have to be clear. That is why when we sit as sent ones, each one of us knows the context in which we've been called. Sometimes that context is required by another community, but that doesn't mean I'm sent to them. But the community, the person here can call you, speak yes, to these on people. This you issue. can call someone and say, come yes. and speak to these people concerning this issue. This particular issue. Okay. To enhance their calling. Mm. So when I come into your jurisdiction, I'm not recruiting. Mm. When you come to our jurisdiction, you're not recruiting. I think understanding that issue of jurisdiction and where you say yeah, yeah. your plumb line is Christ. What is the yes. word that you've been given? That's your plumb line. Yes. Now your word is not... Today we are talking about power to create exactly. wealth. Exactly. Raise believers in the market space. Absolutely. Somebody else is talking prayer. Now the prayer person coming to the believers in the market space and trying to fit there, you've already gone outside of you've your jurisdiction. Your context. So understanding your jurisdiction yes. is the key. Yes. You're but sending. I can call a prayer person mm. not to give us what to pray about. Okay. Well, but to show us the context of prayer so we can apply it mm. in our jurisdiction. And when you talk about the context of prayer, for example, yes. if you say, I'm inviting this person to yes. speak about prayer. Yes. This prayer, this uh, teaching yes. must be in context of context, our context. context of for marketplace. Marketplace. Yes. And alignment. And alignment. Yeah. Don't come and tell us about how we should go into the forest for 10 months to go and seek God. No, that's not in our context. Mm. It may be in yours. Okay. So we are talking about no mimicking other people yes. because if sometimes you do not understand understand the one who sent you, yes. have confidence in what he told you and where you are sent, you'll always look outside to exactly. always find out how do I do this thing. Exactly. And you'll end up taking somebody else calling and planting it into your jurisdiction and, and of course your that call. distorts. Yes. And in the end you'll end up pleasing men. Mm. Yeah. Because you're, so you you're looking for approval. men's approval. Mm. Yeah. We're not looking for approval. Wow. wow. Listen, it's funny that God doesn't approve you after the fact. He approves you before the fact. Mm. His sending is what approves That's you. the approval. So you're not supposed to say, by the way, when I finish, yes. uh, he will approve me. No. no. He approved you. Therefore, he sent you. His calling is the approval. That's the approval. Wow. That's powerful. There's approval. Yeah. So if you, if you walk into that trap, you'll start looking for validation in the wrong places mm -hmm. and let me tell you if you have a unique call it can be lonely please explain moses had a unique call to take them out of egypt who was he hanging around with he can't hang around pharaoh i mean that was his <laughs> that's where he's supposed to be he can't hang around slaves wow he can't he had to be in a context where god drew him mm. god empowered him god sent him 
And he got used to that activity. So even when he was with the nation of Israel, the mm. children of Israel, regularly would have to step away. Yes. And be with God. That's the same because thing with Joseph. Joseph. Yes. When he's walking out there, yes. when you talk of loneliness, exactly. he's always in these places wondering, okay, listen, yeah. does it anyone understand me? Yes. Can't you understand that I'm on a mission? And by the way, guys, watch nicely. Yeah. By the time God finishes with me, yeah. he always promises, I want to do you good in the end. Yes. No, there's a place where that's what you tell yourself. Exactly. Actually, that's where you shout yes. to yourself. To you yourself. sing, you pray, yeah. you muse, you you just love it yes. that I'm talking to me that's it that God has called me yes. he sent me even though I'm alone yes you know it's very hard for many people to be on their own <laughs> yeah yeah and that's the thing that's why we say there are different callings mm -hmm. they give you unique callings if God designed you to function in that pioneering spirit being alone is your norm mm. you don't feel lonely mm. you are alone, alone but you're not, but you're not lonely. lonely okay say that again please yes. and explain it again very important yeah because listen we, in the context of how sometimes we are called, we are very odd. We are very comfortable in our company. The <laughs> two of us, very comfortable for weeks, talking, laughing, doing. Is it that we are, we are not okay with other people? We are fine. We can interact with people and talk. But in the context of our calling, mm. most of the time we have our own internal conversations. I think it's because also when we have conversations on what God is telling us to do now, yes. you almost feel like, okay, let me ask you, if you say this or don't if you understand do me. this anyone around you will not understand you or they will feel like you are attacking yes. me does that mean you will never speak what god sent you to speak no, no. i will speak and that is why sometimes you keep off yes. so somebody doesn't say you heard me therefore exactly. you say it yes sometimes that's responding. Like to do yeah, that. not responding to anything and there are many times also you see when you talk about jesus called the disciples to himself when you come to him you're with him yeah you're with him they did come as a group like, let's go to Jesus. No, Jesus called them to him. Well, so that means when you come, he's relating with you. Directly. He's sending you. He's giving yes. you a message. And sometimes that message might be hard. It's true. Yeah. But you see, that's why you need confidence in he who, in sent, he you. who sent you. Powerful. You have confidence in he who sent you and you're sure of the message he sent you with. Mm. And you're looking for the outcome of the message, not validation. Mm. That's crucial. Yes. And then you won't start searching for the validation everywhere. Mm. You won't keep looking for proof. You won't, listen, you won't get hung up on, I was right. Mm. Let me tell you, when God calls you prophetically, many things that come to pass in your prophetic journey are supposed to build your own faith, not validate you. Let me say something maybe to explain that. Yes. When you are looking for, for validation, yes. yet God is telling you, okay, have confidence in what I called you. If you notice, Whenever he, he teaches, he can be very also historical, like he can tell you this is what happened in this place, this is how they were living, and all this, all right? And then you call him, and you expect him to wear the robe. Yes. You know, <laughs> the robe and the collar. Yes. And then before he wears it, he teaches you where it came from. Yes. Now, if I have already seen, of course, there are places where God can tell you, you know what, for the sake of the word I have, wear that yes. collar. Yeah, don't stumble. But by me. your own self, yeah. on a Sunday morning, if you woke up and tell, told me you want to wear a collar, I'll be like, okay, fine. I'm I'll looking for a validation. You ask them, what's your problem? You know, but why I said that is because if you, if you come and he has talking about the robe and the collar and the origin of that collar. Then you'll be like, imagine I'll not wear it. But many people around me will be thinking, I expect you to wear a collar, especially if you're being ordained. All those words for us, we're like, we are redefining. Yes. So somebody else will be like, okay, wait, you're hitting the collar, you're hitting yes. ordination. You're hitting dedication and you're yes. hitting, you're like, okay, wait. And the, the big question is always this. And yeah. I think that's what God redeemed me from. Mm. Would your word be less powerful? If you didn't wear it, we keep forgetting okay. the core is the word, the not word. the symbol. The word, not the symbol. Yeah. And if you must defend the symbol, I wish you defended the word at the level at which you defend the symbol. Mm. So I don't struggle with the symbol. I can wear it if it's the only way to win you. Mm. And in the context of, and that's what we said. Even Peter, and I want you to understand this. In fact, this will explain it well. Okay. There's a time God had to deal with Peter's mindset to send him to Cornelius' house. But he was only being sent there so that he can understand that God moves among the Gentiles. He was not sent to the Gentiles. God never sent him back. Okay. That was Paul who was going to be sent there. Mm -hmm. But something had to begin among the Gentiles because they were already seeking God. 
So God had to draw somebody out. Mm -hmm. So there's a time God can draw me on assignment, not yes. on sending. Mm. Not assignment. on jurisdiction. On assignment, in that situation, I may need to put on the suit, the collar, I will do it. It's an assignment. Mm. It's not jurisdiction. Yes. In my jurisdiction, it is not required. Mm. In your jurisdiction, you are first of all, you are sure yes. of your calling. Yep. You know what you've been called to yes. do, to whom you've been yes. called to, and what to say. Exactly. But God might have an assignment for you yes. in a place that requires the robe, Absolutely. the collar, yes. and everything else. Absolutely. It doesn't change who we are. Yeah. Neither do we have a problem if you wear that. Totally. But me require me calling you to yes. cross over to my jurisdiction and don't wear it. Make it a big thing. Yes. Then that is where you are saying yeah. you are searching yes. validation in the wrong place. Yes, remember people are more important. Mm. If I feel my That's not cool. wearing a collar will stumble you, mm. I'll wear it for your soul. Mm. Not for people me. People are more important, the word is yeah. more important. Not for me. Wow. But I think when you talk yeah. about convic uh, conviction, yeah. talk about passion, talk about yes. understanding who and where be I've sure. been sent, be that sure. That truth is what people are looking for. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So we will not go looking for validation anywhere. But remember, if again you're not connected to God, you'll, you'll get into the trap of competitiveness. Mm. Oh, well, how long did they start a ministry? They seem to have grown. What is your context of grown? Mm. Mm. Grown is measured by where you're sent, mm. not by how somebody else grows. Please explain where you're sent. Yes. <laughs> growth yes. is by where you're sent. Yes, growth, growth is measured by where you're sent. Okay. That's why I think I said, I don't know if it's in this conversation or the last one, mm -hmm. that if God sends me to raise ten mighty men, yes. okay, if I raise nine, I did well. Okay? Yes. Someone else has a context of raising a thousand captains. If he raises two hundred, mm. more than me, he has failed mm. because we're looking at the wrong mat matrix and the mm. wrong metrics, the wrong parameters. Okay. So each must see our measurement is impact in lives in the jurisdiction they have been sent, mm. not in how many people validate our ministry, mm. not in how many people are comfortable. And there's nothing wrong with the numbers. So we do not defend ourselves that we don't need numbers. Mm. That's not the defense. Let's talk about uh, Samson. Yes. To explain what you're saying about exactly. that. What have you been said exactly. to do? Exactly. Yeah. Why is Saul cast out? Yet. Okay. Let, let's even not even use uh, now that you brought Samson. Let's measure him to somebody else. Yeah. Let's measure him to Solomon. Okay. If you go into Hebrews 11, you won't find Solomon. Hmm. Interesting. What we call the heroes of faith. Yes. But Solomon is not Samson. there. But Samson is there. But the way we know Samson, uh, he was not really All the problems what we call. Were associated. <laughs> yes. Yet, what was his sending? To destroy Philistines. Mm -hmm. Notice God's measurement. Yes. At the time of his death, though blind, the Bible says, if you read it, it says, and Samson killed more Philistines mm -hmm. in his death than in his entire life. Hmm. And therefore, in God's book, take. So even though he went off with Delilah, thank you. That going off when it's his heart switched back. That's it. God tells you, I sent you to do this. Now we are not telling people go to look for Delilah. No. Anyone who thinks we are saying that, you wanted a Delilah in the first place. Nobody sent you there. Okay. And listen, Samson fell. Samson didn't go looking. Okay, if Samson <laughs> fell. He didn't go looking. He was entrapped. Okay. Very different. I was going to talk about Moses yes. also. Yes. That he talks about Moses was told to take people from Egypt yes. and get them out of Egypt. That was his assignment. He was not told to take them into the promised land. Yes. He missed it because people now we concentrate on, you know what? He did he not did enter. His, he did not enter. Big, no, listen, the no. entry was a bonus. Yes. He fulfilled his Exit. call. Deliver them from Egypt. That was his call. So he if was a deliverer, not an establisher. Now, if we understand yes. what you're saying now, yes. that when I understand my jurisdiction, then I will know yes. what God calls. Yes. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Faithful servant. Listen, on our path, yeah. we stumble. Yes. We make mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's not God's measurement. Mm. God's measurement is, did you get back on course? Mm. God's measurement is, ultimately, did you fulfill the mandate? Mm. That's a measurement. That's Solomon right. was supposed to build a house for God. Solomon turned from God. Mm. Mm. 
His wealth notwithstanding. Yes. So his wisdom notwithstanding. He turned his away. His heart turned away from God. Cost him. So when we talk about David, let's talk about David and Solomon. Yes. Now David went into uh, Uriah's wife. Yes. All right. Killed Uriah. Yes. And all that happened. Yes. But his heart turned to God. That's so a principle. So he fell and rose up. That's now it. Solomon fell and stayed down. Stayed. He find comfort yes. on the ground. Exactly. That's what we are saying. That That's don't find comfort in the ground, exactly. even though it's the ground of where you yes. stand. When you fall and you stay there. Yeah. Now does that mean? And here the only problem with the church here, yeah, the minute you say fall, they only know only one day, one fall. All right. But when you talk about fall, is when you say your heart is turned away yes. from God. Yes. When your heart is turned away from God, don't stay there. Yep. Be like David, always inquiring of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let your heart always be searching and saying, listen, yes. I don't want to be disconnected Very from good. God. So when you talk about yeah. you're being sent yes. and you're not sure where you're yes. being sent, competitiveness yes. becomes part yes. of you. And that's a problem. And, yeah. and, and for, for, for me, for us, disconnected from God is not primarily sin. It is being disconnected from the purpose he called you to. Oh, that's another way of looking at it yes. in a powerful way. Yes, because yeah. we, we tend to think disconnection from God is falling into sin. Mm. No, falling into sin is falling. It is not falling into sin. Staying there means you've disconnected from the purpose. Mm. God is not obsessed with sin. The devil is. Mm. Mm. God is focused on purpose. God wants you to pursue what he told you. That's why there's recovery. There is redemption. Mm. Mm. There is restoration. Yes. Those words are always in scripture. Why? Mm. Because ultimately, God wants you to fulfill the mandate. Mm. So when I'm a sent one, God's intent is for me to carry out my sending. God is not trying to count how many times I missed the mark. Mm. He's looking at how many times I attempted the mark. Mm. Remember your man is God. Yes. And then there's a devil who is saying, listen, yes. there's a call on your life. You will not reach there. That's it. I will make sure I stop you. Yes. So the devil is at work. We always forget that. So today if you find a brother has fallen, Yes. All right. In whatever way he's missed the mark of God, it is your duty to yes. uh, encourage him to stand up. Stop staying you, down. You know what is you so know? sad is when a brother falls, mm. we don't see a purpose missed. Oh, we are so obsessed with sin so obsessed that we rather with... miss the purposes yes. of God and, and condemn the brother. Fight. And you know where it comes from? Remember where we started? We started from competitiveness. Mm. We started from measuring mm. success mm. because the brother seems to have left me. Now if he crashes, instead of asking myself, oh. how do we get him back on path? I think that's something God wants us to talk about. I am more concerned yeah. about, now you see, he thought he had reached. Oh. So it, it's almost like if he fell, it makes okay, you wait, good. Okay, wait, There is the fall yes. and the purposes of the God. The purpose is the money. So when we come and say, guys, can you imagine Adam ate the fruit? They were and told not to eat. And you're focusing on that instead of saying, stop. The action of Adam caused God to come to earth as a man. Yes. The action of Adam. Yes. So when you see a brother fall, you're like, okay, stop. Mm. This could take us back because the kind of thing you were supposed to be uh, yeah, fulfilling here, if you miss it in this generation, guys, we've missed it. it. 40 years in the wilderness. Now, why don't we look at it and say, wait, guys, instead of 40 years, why don't yes. we call God and let, ask for his mercy that I may be looking at a brother Back the same way the I see, yes. the same way God looks at him. When God showed up, his first question was not, what have you eaten? Hmm. The first question was, where are you? Wait, wait, wait. He's trying to recover him. That was the first question. Yes. You're not where you're supposed to be. Hmm. You're not functioning as you should. Hmm. Something has happened. Then, secondary conversation. What have you done? So, if a brother falls, yes, and we condemn, we and the enemy same, same WhatsApp, group. WhatsApp group. Instead of us saying, "Listen, yes. there's something called the purposes of God," yes. and for us, when you talk about falling here, please understand, is the same thing as marriage breaking up. Yeah. When we see a marriage that is breaking, a divorce on the pipeline, yes. we see it the same way that, listen, this marriage was supposed to be doing something. Exactly. Something. The, the devil does not waste resources. When you see children yeah. becoming rebellious, you don't start talking about what the is brother. The that the enemy children are becoming No, rebellious. that's not the issue. Oh. The issue is what is the enemy after? Guys, can you see how God sees? Can we pray that our eyes may be the scales may be removed. Yes. Because if today you come and find what happens in the church, you'll be talking about so-and-so's children. 
and you are judging them with such high standards as if they are pastors also. Mm. But these children you are judging, instead of seeing a destiny aborted, yes. you are seeing the pastor and you are like, okay, we're not, not necessarily pastors, anyone. Yes. These parents did not raise their child, well, leave the parent out oh, yeah. and say there's a devil yeah. who is trying to get that child. Let's cry out for the destiny, the purposes yes. of God, not the works of the enemy. Don't and, join yeah. the enemy's camp. Uh, let me say this to any sent one. You may mm -hmm. be a sent one now, yeah. sent one in the future, sent one in business, mm -hmm. sent one in ministry. Okay. Maybe you've fallen. Things have happened. You've gone down. Listen. Staying down for the count. Hmm. Don't hmm. give the devil that opportunity. Wow. People may no longer believe in you, mm. but people didn't send you. God does. God That's the bottom line. You. God believes in you. He needs you to get up, pick yourself up, and get back on that road. You know why, why, why that is so powerful? Up. Yes. That's exactly what Samson did. People didn't believe in he him. He picked himself. But he picked himself and God said, just do your turn, Samson. Who do you? Do your turn. Because in his blindness, yeah, yeah. you can't say he had the power to bring those pillars down. No. That is the 90 of God. Yeah, yeah. But he was looking for a man who said, listen, it will not go to another generation. That's it. In my fallen state, yes. I have now recognized that this is wrong. What I did, where I was, now my eyes are back to what did God ask me to do. Yes. In his death, he yeah, killed yeah. more Philistines. And yes. God says, listen, you did your turn. That's the and he's in the book of... He is in the year of uh, 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 yes, yeah. yeah, and Powerful. that's the principle. Powerful. So, if, if you're not sure, and you, uh, that thing we're talking about today, you'll, you'll keep giving yourself excuses. Mm. You'll retreat every time there is a, a situation or an attack. You're an attack. If you make a mistake and fall, you give up. No. If I know who has called me, mm. even though I fall, the Bible says a righteous man will fall. And that's a very strange statement. A righteous man may fall seven times, but the Lord will deliver him from them all. all. Meaning, God's pattern, God's principle, God's interest is your ultimate. Mm. God is not waiting to count how many people missed it. Mm. That's not the issue. So, there is where we say this is a mistake, yes. and where we say there is a habit. So, yes. when you talk about the fall, we are not talking about habit. Yeah. What you've made mistake. a habit, yeah. my friend, we are talking about see, a habit, mistake. Is somebody who has <laughs> chosen to walk away from the call. Yes. Let's get that clear. Yes. The habit is saying, I have no interest in the call. Mm. I have no interest in what God is saying. Yes. I'm not going where God was going. Mm. That is a different scenario. That person, like the prodigal son, God will say, you and your pig's tie, the day you're sorted, mm. you know where to find me. Mm. But God's intent, if something goes wrong, notice, goes wrong, not if you go wrong. Not if you go looking for wrong. Yes. If something <laughs> goes wrong. Yeah. God is quick to pick you up. Powerful. That's how God God's works. love. That's and even if about. you make the mistake, like the prodigal son, he chose to go. Yes. God doesn't close the door. And that's what we're calling falling. Yes. For, come out of all this thing of um, adultery, that's the only nah, thing we call falling. No, we are from saying the prodigal son left. And yeah. even he asked for in his inheritance. Yes. That is a fall. Yeah. But you know what? When he came to his senses, that was a habit he formed. Yes. He lived there until he said, wait, wait, wait this habit is going to finish me. Yes. That's a habit. But when you talk about a mistake, that's what yes. you said about the righteous yes. man who falls seven yes. times. Yes. But God. God. Why? Because yeah. his gaze is still on God. Clear. And he's still yes. pursuing his and, yes. call. And so the, part, the part, thing is this. Why it's important to be totally clear about where God has called you. Yeah. Otherwise, because a sent one will find resistance. Hmm. A sent one, the enemy will try to stop you. Mm. A sent one, the enemy will try to distract you. Mm. Listen, if you're sure of God, and you're sure of who has called you, and you're sure of where you have been called, when these things come, you won't give excuses, you'll find a way. Mm. That's powerful. No excuses. You'll find a way. Mm. This is not working, let's find another way. I know where I have been sent. And I know it I know. Work. So I it, might not yes. have gotten it 100%, I will find a way. but I will find it. I'm going to seek and find, oh, because the one who sent powerful. me that's cannot powerful. have sent me down a road that cannot happen. Wow. Not possible. Yeah. I will not compromise. I will not change my model to adjust to another way to get there. You will not retreat. I will not retreat. Mm. When I see crisis, I will not run. Mm. Because mm -hmm. I am clear. Otherwise, when all these things that I've mentioned happened, you will back off. You'll change your model, mm. you'll change your ministry ten times, mm. you'll come up with another name for the ministry, another model, another this, another assignment, you'll check somebody else's model and try it. Mm. Be confident. And compromise here is when you might feel that things are not working in my jurisdiction. Mm. I don't seem to see 
fruit in yes. that sense yes. and therefore i invite another voice yes. to come and speak here but the voice is compromised exactly you know in your heart of heart this voice is compromised yes. but you're inviting this voice yes. into your jurisdiction yes. that's what we're talking about compromise there yeah, sometimes you surrender yeah, yeah. You hear something and you're like, you know what, ah, I surrender. No, let, let people go through the door. Me, my job is to come, to speak, and I'll find a good message. If it works for you, good. It doesn't work for you, good. Is it Joshua? I've done my bit. Is it Joshua who said, as for me? It's for me and my house. Yes. We will serve the Lord. The rest of you. <laughs> I don't it care. Turns. It's almost like, you know, we look at that and say, you know what, as for me and my house, listen, stop being individualistic. Yes. Come to a place of saying, we are sent. Settle no everyone. man left behind. But there's a place you reach and you're so frustrated with what is happening with these people. Yes, uh, they are not moving and you're like, as for me and my yes. house, listen, come back and say, Father, help me to have the heart for the yes. people that no man left, that left behind. Yeah. Yeah. So let me tell you, if you're not confident and if this drift happens to you, because you don't know who sent you, you will still be a sent one. Okay. You will still be genuine, mm. but you'll now be in the wrong territory. Mm. You'll gather the wrong people. Mm. Mm. You'll be sending yourself to the wrong. You're still a sent So one. if you're a worker yes. in the field, in the yes. harvest field of the Lord, yes. and you're sent to maize, yes. you'll now be attracting beans yes. or coffee. And once you mm. do that, a number of things are going to begin to happen. And if these things are characterizing your ministry, wow. check your sending. Mm. You'll always be fighting. You have a problem with the people daily. Mm. What's wrong with you people? Why can't you hear me? Why can't you? Because they can't. Mm. Mm. Why can't you hear me? They can't. This is a coconut yes. field yes. full of yes. maize. That's it. So now you're fighting instead of building. Mm. That's all problems going to happen to you. Wow. You'll always be stressed. Always. Mm. You will always be in luck. Never enough. Mm. Mm. Why? Because resources, power, all those things are in jurisdiction and are in the places you have been sent. Mm. God makes provision for where he sent you. Just just go back and tell us again what to look at. Yes. Or to look when you're in ministry and you're saying, yes. listen, I'm always fighting. That one you yeah. know. You yeah. don't need to do it. Yes. Rocket science. Okay? Yes. If you talk about stress, somebody yes. is stressed. You're talking about yeah. luck. When, 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 when just getting up to do ministry becomes a burden. Wow. It no longer gives you joy. Mm. It's something you know you have to do to survive. Uh, before we conclude our conversation <laughs> on that particular one, please yeah. tell us the, the, the dad joke you always talk about, the pastor who refuses. <laughs> okay, just yes, tell us. You always repeat oh, some oh, of these oh, things oh. to me, so <laughs> me share joke. this. This story is told of a, of a, of a man, of, of, of a, a mother who wakes up in the morning and tells her son, you have to wake up. He says, why? He says, because you have to go to school. He says, I don't want to go to school. He says, why? Because the people there hate me. He says, but you still have to go. Why must I go and they hate me? Because you're the headmaster. <laughs> In other words, you reach the level where it is you who is needed, but you no longer want to go. So that can work for pastors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people I just, don't like me. People they don't, don't like me. I don't want to go to that. They don't place. listen. I don't want to minister. They're not listening. But you're the pastor. You have to go. Yes. So stress. Stress. <laughs> when it is no longer giving you joy. Hmm. When, when you see a phone call and you get stressed. Hmm. When you know you're going to talk to people and you're not comfortable anymore. Hmm. When you feel your relationship with them ends on the pulpit. Wow. And you don't need to see anybody. They don't need to talk to you. They don't need to reach out to you. Hmm. Then you may be sent to the wrong guys. Wow. You may have ended up in the wrong place where you're not supposed to be. Okay. And you'll see you're toiling all the time hmm. with little success. Hmm. Toiling, little success. And what's going to happen? You're going to begin manufacturing things. You're going to begin creating hmm. situations, creating projects to survive, creating programs that control people wow. to keep them. Wow. Because the world is no longer sustaining them, you must now uh, scare them to stay. Hmm. Those are scary ways to go. Wow. And that's important because simply because you were not part of what God sent you to do, though you are genuinely sent. Well, we are talking about Matthew 10, 1. Jesus called them to himself. And of course, he called them. Yes. He empowered them. Yes. He instructed them and he sent them. That's it. That's what we're talking about. That's if you're it. sent, there's a way you'll be sitting like this and say, listen, if there's something I love, is just talking that which God has placed in my heart. Yes. Because I know that God wants to save his people, Absolutely. whether in business, in yep. marriage, whatever 
area of your life yes. but he must use men if he has chosen me to be his mouthpiece to speak to you so that your life can be adjusted that gives me joy yeah, yeah. if he does it then you're like wait then this is not a call something, this is something is else yes and you might find yourself now beginning to speak error mm. things are not in scripture yeah because now you're not graced for where you are no. you are a sent one but not for those people mm. and so to try to fit into that you'll teach things you're not called to teach mm. You say things you're not graced for. There will be no power in what you say. I think this is a good, you know, when you say this is a moment where you need to call me into a meeting where I need to go and sit and check and ask myself, Lord, tell me, is this who I'm supposed to be? Yes. Is this where you have sent me? Why? I want to be sure. Because with that, you'll be confident of who he, who he who called you. Yes. And you will be sure that every time you speak, his word will transform the lives of men and yes. women that are called to you. Thank you for watching this episode of the Kingdom Conversations. The big question remains, what have you heard? And what are you going to do about it? Keep tracking with us, like and follow us on our social media handles, the Cyrus community on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. You can send in your questions through Facebook or use the email on your screen. And as Micah 44 says, may you be found seated under your vine and under your fig tree. Until our next episode, keep it kingdom, keep it pure.